what exactly is this Internet of Things? The Internet of Things, uh, in short, is essentially a parallel network of interconnected devices collecting and sharing information to make semi and autonomous decisions for better business outcomes and personal outcomes. What essentially means is that up to this point in the IPv4 world, the Internet 1.0, we've had people connecting to each other via networks. In the Internet of Things, it's literally just devices connected to each other, making those decisions, helping us get to better outcomes, better efficiencies in our processes, better transactions across the board and better life outcomes. The challenge about IoT is that it's becoming more pervasive every day. And I think all of us face this because on the one hand, every CISO has two masters. There's a master of productivity and there's a master of security. And usually the productivity master wins. And so the challenge for us all is that how do we harness uh, the, the promise of IoT and those efficiency gains, those better business outcome gains, at the same time ensuring a reasonable level of security for our enterprise? So it comes down to trust. And when you think about IoT and, and this parallel network of connected devices, there is a connection between all of those networks, whether it's the IoT subnetwork to the local area network, to the wide area network, to the local area network of a cloud data center or a private data center. The nexus, if you will, of those two control planes will always be some device or form factor that does both network elements, SD-WAN optimization, if you will, routing, networking, and security. And if you look at the heart of what a firewall is and the ability of that firewall to limit applications, you have the ability through segmentation to understand whether that's a trusted network or a non-trusted network. And this, this is where the, a fabric-based approach becomes critical. The segmentation allows you that deep visibility into an IoT environment in the context of what's happening in that environment across the rest of that enterprise, that ecosystem. That's where you bring in your, your internal segmented firewalls, your next generation firewalls. The SIM that has visibility from both the network side of the house that can look at CPU and behavioral anomalies in that IoT device, as well as looking through the security events in that next generation firewall. And then should something anomalous happen in that IoT segment, wall that off, mitigate that. And you can only do that if the response is, is automated. And you can only have a, a readily available and timely response if you're integrated with real uh, time intelligence. And so having the ability to bring that all together through that fabric-based approach is how we essentially provide security for IoT environments, irrespective of whether that is a manufacturing device, a self-driving car, or just one of the billions of sensors that's going to be connected into our ecosystems today. And that is why platforms are inadequate for IoT environments. That's a, the only way to approach that is through internal segmentation, automated visibility, detection, orchestration, real-time intelligence around a fabric-based ecosystem. And if you do that, you have visibility at that, that nexus of the control planes, the data planes, and that's how you ensure IoT security moving forward.